Yep, I'm Dave Lawrence. So I've lived in Deal all my life. I was born probably about 100 yards away from where we're standing now. Uh, my grandfather, he, he was brought up in Deal. He was on the North Deal lifeboat 100 years ago. Yeah, I, I started up here probably 45, 50 years ago. Um, started up as a young lad, helping the boats launch. And um, the chappy I worked for then, Ben Bailey, he, he let me um, use one of his boats to just playing around in. I've learnt the ropes by your mistakes and uh, after within, within a year um, you give the sea some respect and uh, we ended up um, working, working for him, which is, uh, I've carried on the last 45, 50 years. Just about scrape a living, but um, plenty of fresh air, plenty of sunshine. Um, you won't want much more. So it's still a lovely, lovely place. It's met, you meet a whole lot of people coming down here, just visiting and fishing. Um, the fishing was it hasn't got um, too bad lately. It's uh, we're still catching a few cod, skate, a lot of dogfish about. In the last three or four years, we've done really well for bass. Um, 20 years ago, if anybody caught a bass, it used to make headlines of the papers. But now, if you go out there and catch four or five bass, you know you've had an average day, it's, uh, which is which is a bonus. If I'm not angling, I'll uh, I'll go off with a commercial boat with the nets and uh, see what I can do um, with the nets. See if I make a day's work. But um, you've got to have, you've got to look at the tides. You've got to look at the um, weather because with nets you've got to work over two days. Um, you can, it's alright putting nets out one day but you've got to be a, look at the weather for the next day to go out and pick them up so it's not very often you get two days <laughs> calm weather. We went off um, last night to uh, shoot trammel nets. Uh, the trammel nets are there which are down, we, we laid them about a mile offshore, anchored, danned. Um, they're prob probably about a quarter mile long. We'll anchor them overnight on a small tide and leave them overnight and uh, pick them up on the first tide in the morning. We pushed off about seven o'clock this morning in a dense fog and uh, lucky enough we, we come across the nets and the marker boys and uh, picked them up. But uh, yeah, a little bit of fish in there, a couple of skate, a couple of cod, a few, a few bass and uh, a lot of dogfish. Just about to pay the fuel bill. <laughs> I've got a couple of big boats that I take angling parties off. Um, the people come from all over the country, uh, across the seas as well. That um, come from um, London, down South Ends, uh, Southampton. I've even got Belgium anglers come across um, summertime. They know the fishing's good here. Um, they don't catch skate on, on that side of the uh, water, but uh, we catch quite a few over here, so they come over for a day's fishing. And, uh, we go off at about 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, we launch from the beach, it's all hard work, It's uh, nothing's easy. Now, I'm normally up here by up past 6, 7 o'clock getting, getting the boat all ready, down the beach ready for them to turn up for 8 o'clock. Uh, we launch and um, we fish till about three o'clock, half past three, and we're, we're back ashore. Um, hopefully, with a nice bit of fishing so they can take home with them. <laughs>